Are you ready? Also, I have a Facebook, so if you're leaving, you know what I mean, you can add me on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm not really good with keeping up on Twitter because I'm kind of lazy. Um, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's fine. You know what I mean? I drop a little something every now and then. So here we go. Poem. You know, I call this my honest poem. And um, not that my other poems aren't honest, um, I just feel like this is like the most honest thing that I've ever written. Um, the background story behind this poem is uh, maybe about four or five years, it was about four years ago. Me and my friends we were in the car and we were heading to a show. And I asked them, I was like, well, you know, what do you think I could add to my, my repertoire of poems? Um, just kind of like make my, my body of work stand out. And um, they basically said, you should probably write a poem about yourself. Um, and at the time I had, I had nothing about myself just because I was more comfortable writing about other things like my experiences, people that I know, what have you. Um, so I, I took them. I took them up on the challenge, and it took me about four years to write this poem. And um, here it is. You guys ready? <laughs> I was born on July twenty seventh. I hear that makes me a Leo. I have no idea what that actually means. I'm five foot six. I weigh one hundred and forty five pounds. I don't know how to swim, and I'm a sucker for a girl with a nice smile. Clean sneakers. <laughs> I'm still learning how to whisper. I'm often loud in places where I should be quiet. I'm often quiet in places where I should be loud. I was born feet first. I've been backwards ever since. I like ginger ale. A lot. I've been told that I get really bad hugs. Right? People say that it feels like I'm trying to escape. <laughs> Most of the time, it's because I am. <laughs> like secretly, I, I get really nervous every time someone gets close enough to hear me breathe. I have this odd fascination with things like, like sandcastles and, and ice sculptures. I assume it's because I usually find myself dedicating time to things that will only last a few moments. It's also why I tend to fall in love with women who will never love me back. I know, I know, right? <laughs> and I know that it sounds crazy. But it's actually easier than it seems, and to be honest, I think it's safer that way. You see, relationships, they often remind me that I'm not afraid of heights or, or falling, but I'm scared to death of everything that's going to happen the very moment that my body hits the ground. I'm clumsy. Yesterday, I, I tripped over my self-esteem. I landed on my pride, and it shattered like an iPhone with a broken face. Now, I can't even tell who's trying to give me a compliment. You see, I've never been in the military, but I, I have this purple heart. I got it from beating myself up over things I can't fix. And I know this sounds weird, but sometimes I wonder what my bed sheets say about me when I'm not around. I wonder what the curtains would do. If they found out about all the things that I've done behind their backs, I've got a hamper that's overflowing with really, really loud mistakes and a graveyard in my closet. I'm afraid that if I let you see my skeletons, you'll grind my bones into powder and get high on my fault line. My name is Rudy. I enjoy frozen yogurt, people watching, and laughing for absolutely no reason at all. But I don't allow myself to cry as often as I need to. See, I have solar power confidence and a battery operated smile. My hobbies include editing my life story, hiding behind metaphors, and trying to convince my shadow that I'm someone worth following. You see, I don't know much, but I, I do know this. I know that heaven is full of music. And I know that God, he listens to my heart beating on his iPod. It reminds him that we still got work to do. Thank you.